Young Philly's getting cancelled. Popular musician and YouTuber from the UK, known as Young Philly, has been extradited from Queensland to WA, accused of serious sexual assault allegations following an incident in Perth. Yeah, well, you're not friends, mate. That, you know, I'll tell you what I will check, mate. I've got some news here. It says you're a massive... That's what it says. I'll f*** you f***. No, but, like, that, that's, that used to be my best friend. Like, me and him were close. Like, mm. we grew together in, like, in the career of the industry, what we're in now, innit? Like, we yeah. grew together, yeah. we started together. Whether people see, saw me in it at the start or not, I was there. And the exact same as you, I'm shocked. Um... The internet is buzzing with shockwaves today as another major YouTuber, Young Philly, faces some very serious allegations. So serious, he's being dubbed the Young Diddy. Reports confirm that Philly was arrested and charged in connection with an incident involving a woman in her 20s at a hotel in Perth. The fallout from this could be massive, especially since he's deeply connected with top-tier creators, global brands like BBC, ITV, Meta, and even charities like the Prince's Trust. The burning questions are, will his friends stand by him? Will brands drop him? And how is the entire YouTube community reacting to this bombshell? Stay tuned because we're diving deep into this explosive story. All right, let's break this down. Much like the U.S., Australia is divided into different states, each with its own set of laws. In Young Philly's case, prosecutors allege that the incident took place in a hotel room after a nightclub performance in Perth during his Australian tour. Because of this, he was extradited from Queensland, where he had been staying, back to Western Australia to face charges. There's even a video showing him handcuffed at the airport, escorted by police officers as he's taken to a car. Now, before diving into the details of what went down in court, which are pretty disturbing, let's take a moment to understand the scale of this. For those unfamiliar with Young Philly, this isn't just a minor celebrity scandal. It could potentially turn his entire career upside down. He's got millions of fans who look up to him, and he's a central figure in the UK's massive YouTube scene, rolling with big names like The Sidemen and Beta Squad. He even has a podcast with his close friend Chunks, and his face is all over TV. He's got his own show with the BBC, Hot Property, and another one with Channel 4 alongside Harry Panero. And that's not even scratching the surface. Philly has starred in Sidemen's videos that have racked up over 80 million views, and his collaborations with them easily hit over 40 million. He's played in the Soccer Aid charity match on ITV, appeared on The Great Celebrity Bake Off, and his music streams in the millions each month. He's always busy with big brands, too. He's got his own sauce with Heinz, has worked with Meta, the British military, Adobe, Captain Morgan, and more. On top of that, he's involved in charities like Stand Up to Cancer, and the Prince's Trust, inspiring young people to follow their dreams. Now, you can bet that all of them are scrambling to protect their own public image right now. But we'll dive into that part in a minute, because just the other day, Philly appeared in court, facing serious charges. Four counts of unlawful penetration, three counts of mistreatment, causing bodily harm, and one charge of strangulation. Prosecutors even argued against granting him bail, saying there's a strong case backed by CCTV and photo evidence. They also highlighted that he's not just an average person on trial. His social media influence could interfere with the case. In court, prosecutors showed the magistrate unseen pictures and claimed these images reveal a pattern of mistreatment, adding that what happened goes far beyond anything that could be considered consensual. On the other hand, Philly's defense team is challenging the strength of the case, pointing out that the woman didn't mention any mistreatment during a phone call with her friend at 5.31 a.m. The case was adjourned for the day, and young Philly was granted conditional bail. However, he must follow strict rules, including not contacting his alleged victim or posting anything about the case to his millions of followers on social media. It's important to remember that these charges don't mean he's guilty. He'll be tried in an Australian court, and until then, he's considered innocent. But here's the thing. Once these kinds of allegations surface, the internet often jumps to conclusions. Even though nothing is proven yet, the damage has already started. Twitter is buzzing with old clips of Philly interacting with women, and while no one paid much attention before, now with his arrest, people are watching everything through a different lens. Some clips have gone viral, with users picking apart even the smallest moments, twisting them into something more sinister. And they're not entirely wrong. In one clip, his close friend Chunks, whose real name is Amin Mohammed, 
was heard saying that a 25-year-old cannot be with a 16-year-old female, calling it immoral. And this was Philly's response. No, so a, a 25-year-old can't be with a 16-year-old? Yes, they can. Yes. What? Why not? A 25-year-old with a 16-year-old? Yeah. That can't be. I know, but I agree, G. I huh? agree. Morally, it's wrong, but the law is... As soon is, as you're can't. 16, you're legal. You're allowed to I clock. thought 16 could be with other 16-year-olds. No. Up to 18. And then 19... For example, a 19-year-old can't be with a 16-year-old. I oh, actually know. I thought that as well. I've just really? realized that. In another resurfaced moment, young Philly and Chunks had a candid conversation that, in hindsight, now carries a different weight. During the interaction, Philly confidently told Chunks that he would 110% allow him to marry into his family, stating how much he respected and admired Chunks, even embracing him in a hug. Philly said, You, specifically, you are a great flipping human being. On my life, brother. Yeah, I'll let you marry. It would be nice because we'd see each other all the time. However, Chunks' response took an unexpected turn, surprising viewers with a sharp and honest reply. What started as a friendly exchange became an uncomfortable moment with Chunks referencing rumors he had heard. Despite Philly's attempts to dismiss it with humor, even making a lewd remark, the conversation left viewers with an eerie undertone, especially now as Philly faces serious allegations. Another resurfaced clip has added fuel to the controversy surrounding young Philly. In a 2020 promo video for Bar One Nightclub in Perth, where he performed just hours before the alleged mistreatment, Philly made a questionable remark that has now taken on a more sinister tone. In the clip originally posted by the nightclub to advertise his rap show three days prior to the incident, Philly jokes about sleeping with his friend, Chunks' girlfriend, during a lie detector test at Foot Asylum. During the test, Chunks asked Philly, if I left my girl with you and told you to look after her and she made some advances, would you do anything? Philly interrupts with a question, what's she wearing? The moment sparks laughter from both, but with the current allegations against Philly, the joke feels far from lighthearted. The clip is now being revisited by fans and critics alike, drawing more scrutiny as Philly faces serious charges. Yeah, I wouldn't I would let you marry my family, but yeah. Why? Uh -huh. I'm a good man. <laughs> what's wrong with me? No, I have too many stories. Yeah, no, yeah. What Appreciate stories? Me. Huh? Bend to the left. I'm not just, that's very scary. Yeah, but it? what's that got to do with you when I'm clarting? The nightclub used the footage to promote his September 27th performance, just hours before police say he allegedly essay attacked and strangled a woman in her 20s. Philly performed to a packed and energetic crowd, donning an orange top, interacting with the audience, and rapping along. However, what started as a lively evening ended in controversy, as police claimed the alleged mistreatment took place later that same night on September 28th. The controversy surrounding Young Philly escalated further when it was announced that the Chunks and Philly Show live event, set to be their first major live appearance together, was abruptly canceled. The show, known for interviewing rappers and influencers, was highly anticipated, but the venue, Troxy, confirmed its cancellation, following the allegations against Philly. Upload Productions, the company behind the podcast, released a statement acknowledging the serious nature of the accusations, explaining, We are aware of the serious allegations that have been made against Young Philly and the legal proceedings that are now underway in Western Australia. In the commercial areas of business, where we have responsibilities, we have paused working with our client. But what will be the most interesting to watch is how other creators react to these accusations. Will they stand by him or distance themselves? That's where things could really start heating up. For starters, it's not looking good for young Philly at all. His most popular content with the Sidemen has been taken down, now set to private, likely awaiting on the outcome of the case. Foot Asylum, the brand that played a big part in building his following, has also cut ties, terminating his contract. With no income from these deals, Philly is left relying on his savings while staying in Australia. Every brand and sponsor he's ever worked with seems to be pulling back. Even a series he had planned with England football players is no longer moving forward. Miss Fabulous shared her perspective on TikTok, warning entertainers and rappers to be more cautious. She emphasized the importance of sticking to one woman and avoiding quick flings with strangers while on tour. Her message was clear. One bad decision can ruin your career in an instant which seems to be exactly what's unfolding for Philly. And it's not just her. A lot of other YouTubers have openly reacted to this, and while some remain silent, others have openly distanced themselves. For instance, LV General, a former close friend of Philly, expressed his frustration and shared insights into their past, explaining how their friendship grew during the early stages of their careers. He acknowledged that they had a falling out long ago and made it clear that Philly is responsible for his own actions. 
LV also commented on the harsh reality of Australian prisons and expressed hope that Philly's family wouldn't suffer as a result. He posted, Everyone, please stop messaging me about what's happened to young Philly. He's a grown man, and he has to take responsibility for his own actions. I'll be praying for this man, because Australian prison ain't a joke. Bear snakes and spiders. I just hope this doesn't backfire on his family. While LV General expressed his personal frustrations with Philly, he's not the only YouTuber weighing in on this controversy. Several creators have voiced their thoughts, offering different perspectives on the situation. Another instance, FIFA, EA, FC streamer Pieface has taken a firm, innocent until proven guilty stance, urging his audience not to jump to conclusions. During one of his broadcasts, Pieface said, Don't believe everything you read. That won't be true. Unlike most people, I'm not going to throw someone I know straight under the bus without knowing all the information. His remarks reflect a cautious approach, one that contrasts sharply with the immediate outrage seen across social media. Similarly, fellow British creator Aaron Hunt echoed Pieface's sentiments, emphasizing the need for patience and facts over speculation. He argued that the charges against Philly are just accusations and that it's premature to judge him without more evidence. Are you going to completely shut the door on your mate because of an accusation, or are you going to wait for some facts? Hunt questioned. He emphasized that it's crucial for everyone to step back and wait for concrete details before rushing to judgment. I think everyone should just be waiting for some facts at this point before getting their torches and pitchforks out. You've been accused of something. Are you going to completely shut the door on your mate because of an accusation or are you just going to wait for some facts? I think everyone should just be waiting for some facts at this point before getting the torch and pitchforks out. Obviously, if it turns out that it's something that he has done, lock him up, disgusting, you know what I mean, write him off. Uh, cancel him but do you remember Chad Evans a few years ago he got done for it he literally went to prison for about six months and then it turns out he's not done it if it turns out that he's not done it and this does this is not just for this case this is for all cases if it turns out that he's not done it and the accusation turns out to be a lie then the bird should get just as long as he would have got if he did it because if it's a false accusation it can ruin life can't it but like I said, for now, the best thing to do is probably to... On the other side of the conversation, some YouTubers have taken a more cautious stance, aligning with LV General's perspective. Streamer Angry Ginge offered a more neutral view, expressing shock, but without holding judgment. He emphasized that he cannot comment on legal proceedings and made it clear he didn't have insider knowledge, stating, I don't know anything more. Please don't think I do. It is what it is. We just have to wait for the final verdict. Angry Ginge, who co-hosts the popular YouTube series Girth and Turf with Philly, admitted that the show's future remains uncertain in light of the situation. Even high-profile streamer Felix Lingell, better known as XQC, shared his thoughts on the controversy. During a Twitch live stream, XQC discussed the viral posts surrounding British YouTuber Andre Felipe Valencia Barrientos. XQC reflected on the situation, noting that he had seen weird clips of young Philly circulating online even before the allegation surfaced. He described the entire case as a disaster, cautioning against drawing conclusions too quickly. Assuming and drawing a final conclusion on either end is bad. Both are bad because you wouldn't want to be the one on the receiving end of bad conclusions. He remarked, advising his viewers to approach the situation with care. XQC also addressed the comments made by fellow content creator Pieface23, who had encouraged his audience not to believe everything they read and emphasized he wouldn't throw someone under the bus without knowing the full story. While Pieface's comments urged caution, XQC found his defense of young Philly a bit rushed, calling his statements odd takes and suggesting that Pieface may have jumped to Philly's defense too soon. It's important to acknowledge the gravity of the accusations against young Philly as authorities wouldn't make such an arrest without substantial evidence. The fact that bail was initially denied underscores the seriousness of the charges. According to ABC Australia, Philly is being represented by Seamus Rafferty SC, a well-respected Perth barrister. In court, Rafferty highlighted the impact that social media and public opinion could have on the case, emphasizing how quickly people are influenced by headlines. He said, this has already made headlines. Given the nature of social media, the nature of people jumping on bandwagons, given the nature of the power imbalance between the parties. In addition to all this scrutiny, footage of Philly's performance at Perth's Bar One nightclub has surfaced on social media, showing him engaging with a packed and lively crowd. The clips shared by the venue and fans reveal a night filled with energy as attendees rapped along with Philly's music, their phones raised to capture the moment. 
The event had been marketed as an ultimate evening escapade, with promotions promising a blend of spontaneity, humor, and music that would leave attendees buzzing for weeks. This performance was part of Philly's Australian tour, which had kicked off in Perth before making its way to Melbourne, Sydney, and the Gold Coast. During his tour, Philly performed four shows, captivating audiences with his evolving musical presence. A video shared on social media via the account at SamLoren30 captured Philly's performance in Sydney on October 6, with many commenters praising his transformation into a legit music artist during the show. Fans have been quick to revisit old videos of young Philly, sharing their thoughts and speculations. One fan even went as far as to compare him to a young Diddy, referring to the serious legal troubles Sean Combs faced right now. The comparisons highlight the gravity of the allegations Philly is now dealing with. Another fan called the resurfaced clip the moment before disaster, implying that things were about to take a turn for the worse for Philly. Many are now reflecting on how quickly things can spiral, citing that Philly is really in trouble right now. This flood of online commentary shows how rapidly public perception can shift in the face of scandal, while many already convinced of the worst, despite no formal verdict being reached yet. As of now, young Philly must stay in Australia for two months while he awaits for his court date, checking in with the police daily. Just a week after his bail, he was seen for the first time surrounded by reporters, wearing a white hoodie and cap. He walked past them without answering any questions, heading in and out of the station. He was later spotted again in an all-black outfit reporting to Northridge Police Station. What's clear now is that young Philly's future is uncertain. If he's found guilty of these serious charges, it will be very hard for him to go back to the life and career he had before. Already, many big brands have dropped him, including the Football Association, FA, ASOS, and Heinz. These companies have cut ties with him, and many people on social media are also canceling him. Even if he is proven innocent, rebuilding his career will be extremely difficult. His name is already linked to these accusations, and he will have to work hard to regain trust from fans and brands. Young Philly, whose real name is Andre Felipe Barrientos, got his big break on YouTube before moving into mainstream TV and music. Born in Colombia on August 6, 1995, he moved to the UK with his family when he was just two years old. They settled in southeast London, where he grew up. Philly has often spoken about his tough upbringing, raised by a single mother with three kids. He credits his mom with shaping him into the person he is today, sharing stories about how she worked hard at cleaning jobs to provide for the family. She even worked at Poundland while he was landing roles on TV. His motivation was always to help his mother and get her out of that tough situation. But now all the hard work Philly put in seems to be at risk. If these charges against him turn out to be true, his career may never recover. Even with all his past success and popularity, these allegations could change everything for him. If he's innocent, the damage to his reputation could still take years to fix. It's a tough situation, and fans are left wondering what will happen next. So what do you think about young Philly's situation? Do you believe he's guilty of the charges against him, or do you think he'll clear his name? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated as more information comes out about this case.